Fifth and final nominee for the Kelloland Media Group All-Star Girls Basketball Player of the Year is St. Thomas Moore's junior, Reese Ross, whose unbelievable run in the state tournament helped lead the Cavaliers to a Class A state championship. Kelloland's Sean Bauer has her story. Reese Ross averaged more than 18 points and nine rebounds a game, helping St. Thomas Moore get back to the state tournament. The Cavaliers faced Lakota Tech in the quarters. With the game tied in the closing seconds, it was Ross who scored the eventual game-winning bucket. Knowing that they'd went to a man, um, you know, you got to give it to, um, you know, some of your best players, and you got to put them in a position to see if they can succeed. And it's a play we've been running all year, and it's it's one of our go-tos. And for my teammate Marin, obviously, trusting me that. I can make that shot really does mean a lot. She and the Cavs would knock off top seed Wagner in the semis and then faced Hamlin in the title game where Ross put on a memorable performance with 25 points and 13 rebounds leading St. Thomas Moore to the state title. She was able to um, you know not only knock down a couple of shots I think defensively a couple of those steals and going coast to coast uh, you know just brought out the the versatility that she has. The junior took tremendous strides this season. You know, understanding the, the mental rigor of performing at a certain stages, um, you know, that that's, that's a continuation, uh, but I thought that growth was the best for her. With another year to play at St. Thomas More, Ross will look to take her game to even greater heights. I feel like there's something new about every experience, every game, it brings a new challenge and a new, um, ambition for me to go and reach. She's got to be in the top five of that. Some of the athletes that I've had come through the program and I'm very excited to see where that next step goes. During the state tournament, Ross averaged nearly 23 points and 14 rebounds per game. The girls nominees have been revealed, so next week we will unveil our five boys finalists for the Player of the Year with them. We'll then announce the winners during a special Sports Zone Saturday on April 23rd.